What's up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog back with another Transformers review. This is on the Future Models slash Takeratomi EX Gokin Transformer Series TF03 Optimus Prime. This is a diecast, posable, articulated model. Um, mostly diecast, some diecast, and good plastics and uh, like linkage joining. It's not linkage joining, it's more like drawer joints, but checking out the packaging really quickly, you can see that, and then on the side you get a little nice static pose of Optimus, him with his axe, you can see him with the Matrix, you can see his stand that comes with him, this nice Autobot symbol that kind of goes from there to there, that's kind of neat, and then you get the back of Optimus there, Transformers Optimus Prime as well as there, and then you can take off the slip cover, which is pretty cool. Kind of like that, and then we have Optimus Prime in closed in this nice case. You can see TF03 up there. You got this kind of mud, mud, mundane picture there of Optimus. Transforms Optimus Prime, Optimus Prime EX Future Models, and then the same on the bottom. So, without further ado, let's get right into the review. And then you can always take him out of the packaging, and he's in this nice clamshell. So, let's take that out. Put that right here. Let's move this over here. And you can see it's this double clamshell. In the back, you get the clamshell that pulls out that has the, the stand. And I'm actually not going to take this out. You can see how self explanatory it is. You have a peg hole right there for. Um, for, I think you can take out a part right there that will show the, the hole. Yeah, there's no other hole, so take this piece off right there and you can clip him in and you get that base with the Autobots, which is not bad. You get a little piece down here as well. So we'll just put that out of the way for now. Um, and then you also get, I love clamshells when you take off the top and it keeps it in place. That's just my type of, I, I think all Transformers that are collectible should be in these. Anything that's gonna get anyone, you know, I mean, like it, should, it, it would be nice if we had an option. So people that didn't, we are gonna throw it away, didn't have to have it. People that wanted it, could have it. Just so there's no excess. And then you get all the fists down there that just fell out. The gun, the ax, and Optimus Prime himself. Before I go any further, check out ShowZStore.com for all your official and third-party needs. Uh, best competitive prices with free shipping to the U.S. and other places if you ask. There's, I believe there's a possibility there's other places, but at least shipping to the U.S. definitely. Uh, also, check out my Twitter at CDog04, all lowercase, no spaces. Link will be in the description below. And share with your friends. Uh, make sure to click on that notification bell for all of my videos as they come in and to check out my playlists. All right, so with that done, you do get a little kind of a booklet here. Open up the booklet, shows you the hands, a couple things. Shows you how these joints work, how much it will bend, which I've actually used this toy that doesn't bend that much. It can show you all this other stuff, but it doesn't actually show you anything that important or anything that substantial. Um, so just checking them out, we'll just zoom in here. Um, first off, we'll go into the face. You can see the face there. So nicely done with the face. Look at the lights there. There you go. Not bad. The only thing is, if you notice, the ears are sticking outward a little bit. And had they been just straight up, it would have been actually pretty much perfect. So the fact that they're sticking out makes it a little bit of a wonky look. But, you know, when he's on his side a little bit or something, he looks perfectly fine. And he still looks good from the front. Still looks like Optimus. Just, you know, that's just the way it is. But, uh, just pinning down here a little bit. Mm -hmm see the full design of the figure you can see they have the gray like the mp1 first did the yellow another thing that mp1 did i believe maybe it was mp10 
that was the first one I can't remember but uh, we have the gray joints here for um, the elbows but he looks pretty good he's got die cast metal all up on every part of his lower foot and the bottom of his foot or sorry the lower legs and the bottom of his foot even the inside of his legs um, it does feel kind of like this might be die cast on this one part and then on the outside is plastic I'm pretty sure um, also you can see this kind of this strip right here let me turn this so you can see this strip right there and the one that goes in right around his neck and then back here I believe is all die cast yeah that's die cast I believe um I think these are plastic I feel no oh, those are probably uh yeah those are probably plastic yep but mostly a, a lot of it else is plastic but it does have pretty cool heft to it um we can show you the scale here in a minute if I remember but very nice you got red paint it stands out you got the chrome for the smokestacks as well as the grill as well as silver metallic paint for the stripe goes around to the side fully uh, gray plastic for the elbows but you have this all painted this painted all that's painted uh, silver metallic paint for the uh, kind of crotch plate I guess you call it and then he's got kind of like a fade paint here for the gray legs and then metallic silver or sorry metallic blue for the down you got more chrome here for the gas cans these come off very easily they're on c-clips stupid design just really bad you can only go out to there anything more will just well you can can go out but it's on like you can see a little bit of where it's coming up and you kind of have to push it down as you go uh, checking out some of the accessories he's got a pair of fists with no holes a pair of splayed out hands as you can see there a pair of gun holding hands and they have holes in them so you can take this accessory which is fully gunmetal paint it's got a little of that silver kind of uh, fleck on it but not bad fully painted uh, you just stick it in one of the holes and then you have his ion cannon so very nice and then to show you how this works you just take it off the ball joint and we have a pointing finger as well so you can see that I want you additionally he comes with an axe and it's got this kind of a it's a clear translucent plastic and then it's got this fade uh, kind of orange paint but you can just pop it in there as well so, very nice because as you can see it's clear plastic and then they put two, two different kind of paints on it you got a lighter and then this kind of darker orange looks really nice and can pose with ease uh, well you know you have to get them all posed but so yeah you can see one thing i want to show is if you notice the gun is slanted downward if you hold it straight it's downward even a little bit his arms a little bit up and it's still downward that's because this slides in and it slides in at this weird angle like i suppose you could probably put it up like this but the ball joint doesn't stay in so the best you can do is that and that's pushing it all the way in and holding it in but not the end of the world because it still works but that's just an option these are the hands i like to keep them with um for articulation he has a head that will go up look up not too bad look down not too bad definitely nice crook back and side and forth and then you can also swivel no chicken just a squeaky joint there we get a pull out joint so you, but you if you notice the bicep swivel doesn't only goes that far so you can only do like some stuff with it but you can rock this up and over to make it work um but yeah it goes out and then it goes up and down forward and back pulls out and it also whoops it also leans back a little bit but you can also do this 
So that's cool. I showed you the bicep swivel, only range there. You get double jointed elbows. Nice deep bend there. Oops. <laughs> and uh, straightens out all the way. You get ball jointed fists. You know, they do ball jointed things. You can kind of go down a little bit. Like there's some kind of weird, uh, goes very little. If you notice, it's just that waist, but it does crunch a little bit. I don't know if you can, and you can also swivel it 360 if you need to. Uh, this will go forward a little bit and you have pull down and it goes about like that, but you have pull down feature. So you can get them to go all the way out and it will hold, it will hold pretty nicely. Um, additionally over here, you want it out like that and you can get it to kind of like go out like about like that. I mean, probably a little more if you mess with it, maybe, but it's on a ball joint. It will swivel up there. Careful with that. And then you can have, if you pull this out, it says you can do only this much, but you can actually get it to go a little bit more. But as you notice, it's double jointed. You can pop that back in. Same with this. Pull it out. Gets you a little bit more range. Back and forth. You can go up. No toe, do, uh, no toe hinge or anything, but it allows you to pull down. So that's cool. And then, you, of course, get some ankle tilt out of it. So, all in all, a fun figure. And as you can see how easily that come off, that's the only bad thing about it. Uh, we'll check out a couple poses. Actually, one more thing. You can open up this. And then you pull this up, but it's on the C-clip, so you have to kind of push it at the same time, or else it just usually just pops off. And then you can see the ridiculously small matrix. And it's in chrome and chrome paint as well. You can see a little white paint there as well as this black paint. Or I think that's just black plastic. Yeah, that's black plastic. But you, the nice chrome looks nice. Talks over for the piece that comes down. You got translucent blue windows, so they did good on that. You got a temporal symbol for the Autobot symbol. Um, very nice, very fun figure, cool figure. Let's check out a couple poses. Optimus Prime pointing. There's a little better. Turn his head a little bit. Optimus Prime weapon wielding his ion cannon. Swinging his axe. <laughs> and Optimus Prime opening his matrix of leadership. So let me know what you think of the review. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more toy reviews. As always, stay awesome, stay sub, and stay tuned for the next video. Peace. That's a wrap, guys. Over.